Integrated pest management focuses on controlling insects while minimizing your impact on the environment. It's what Green Giant teaches its growers around the world, and it starts with developing tough varieties. The type of uh, genetic improvements that we've made in vegetables, in sweet corn, peas, or green beans, is all through conventional breeding practices, putting in better plant disease resistance into the sweet corn hybrids or the peas or the green bean varieties that we grow. And that has allowed us to reduce our sprays because the diseases that were a problem years back are really no longer a problem for us today. But insects and pests still find these varieties attractive. Right here is the corn borer moth. This is a pest of uh, corn around the world. In the past, growers made sprays, insecticide sprays, based on the calendar or the time of the year or on a weekly basis. Farmers today have more in their arsenal to control insects. Wire traps, blacklight traps, or pheromone traps that target specific pests. So for example, in Irapuato, Mexico, where broccoli is the primary crop and diamondback moth is the primary insect, we have pheromone traps specifically for diamondback moth in Irapuato. Every morning, the people in the, in the fields check the traps and uh, count the amount of adults that the tramp catch that last night. If we catch between five and 10 moths per night for three consecutive nights, then it is time to implement a control program. That could be harvesting the crop earlier or letting the good bugs work the fields. This uh, ladybug is going on the back of the soybean leaf looking for aphids to eat, so it's natural control. We like to see ladybugs out in the fields like this. In the last 30 years, Green Giant has reduced its pesticide use on sweet corn by 80%. It's the result of an integrated approach and a sustained commitment to do right by farmers and the planet we share. <laughs>